Have you ever wanted to know how to make a video that has drone footage with those line layout and have some information on there? Well, if you've wanted to learn how to do that, then this video is for you. So in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to take drone footage and use motion tracking to create lines. I'm gonna show you how I make it in Adobe After Effects. This is the 2020 version, so it is a little bit different than maybe some other versions you've seen, but it's actually really easy to do and smooth. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. First thing that you're gonna do is you're going to open up your After Effects and you're gonna load into your timeline or your sequence here, you're gonna load your video footage that you want to track. So I put this, this clip in, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the space bar and you can see that it's just a drone shot of my footage. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate the clip. So I'm gonna hold down Command and press D and that will duplicate the clip. So now that I've got the clip duplicated, I'm gonna highlight this clip and I'm gonna to go to animation and I'm gonna to go to track in Boris FX Mocha. So this actually comes pre-installed now. It used to be a plugin, but it comes pre-installed now with After Effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that button and it's gonna load another window. And this window, it does really, really cool for motion tracking. So now you can see over here, I have Mocha AE. I'm gonna click on this button. And what it does is it'll open up a new window and now I'm in Mocha and this is the essential if you've used it before you're gonna see like the classic version um, For what I'm doing honestly all you need is the essentials and it's pretty simple. You want to click on uh, Track motion options you want to click These you can do all of them perspective. You don't really have to worry about so much, but I Just if if you feel like there's perspective in your shot that's moving out then you can go ahead and highlight it It's just more data to track but I don't, I don't typically do it. And then I'm gonna go up to the tool here, the pointer tool or this pen tool, and I'm gonna start to click. So I'm gonna click once, and all I'm gonna do is then just move this to the next point of where I want. And this is roughly kind of the parcel layout. And then I'm just clicking, and Roughly, I'm just clicking, and this isn't exact. Now look, I, I can't see down here, so you wanna hold down X, and that will give you the little hand, so then you can move. Then let go of X, and you can continue to um, push it over. So I'm gonna do it right about, it's not exactly like true perspective. This is just for the tutorial, but if I were really worried about it, I'd put it over here more to line up with the road. Um, well, we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll do one more right here. Okay, now that I'm done, I'm gonna go back to the very first point and put my uh, crosshairs on it and click and it will finish up. Now there's a couple ways that you can adjust these. They're rounded and I want them squared like property lines would be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold over this little blue area right here and this little blue square and I'm gonna click and drag and that pulls that um, tight. Now if you want, if you know all of the corners are gonna be square, just hold down uh, Command A, and that will highlight all of them. And then you can just click and pull, and it it will select it will select all of them. So now that I've got that, I'm go back in, and maybe I want to adjust these one by one. Now I'm just using the little red anchor points to adjust where I want these, and that looks pretty good. Now my playhead is right here. You can pretty much track anywhere, but make sure wherever you're tracking that you don't accidentally scroll with your mouse and then it tracks a couple things forward and then your tracking's off. So this looks pretty good. I'm gonna put this a little bit longer um, along the, the road there. So that looks good, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead over here and I'm gonna track forward. I'm just gonna click once and it's gonna start tracking. And once it's tracked, which it's just about done. It'll be done here in the next couple seconds. Once it's done, then I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back into After Effects. Okay, so now it's done. I've noticed over here, there's a. it's kind of moved quite a bit from here to there, so I'm gonna just adjust these. That looks okay, this one went up a little bit. 
This is to play through it, or you can just swipe left with your mouse. And if you're okay with that, that looks all right. It moves quite a bit from there to there. But for, this is something that you can play with, but for the tutorial sake, we'll move on. So now that, let's say that I have a perfect track. I'm happy with my, with my tracking. And sometimes starting at the beginning of the play clip is not the best way to track. Um, sometimes it's better to start right here and then track backwards and track forward. And then that way everything will look good. But let's say I'm happy with it. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit this button right here. This saves the file. And then once it's saved, I'm gonna go ahead and click the red button to close it out. So now I've saved my tracking data right there. So I'm gonna go and twirl down tracking data and twirl down mat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an AE mask. So I'm just gonna click that button one time. And now what I'm gonna do is if I hide, now I'm, I'm make sure you're on the layer that you want to create the mask. So I'm gonna hide this right here and you can see my mask is now right there. And if I hit the space bar, you can see that it's moving. So that's how my uh, mask is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to effects, generate stroke. And from there, I'm gonna add a stroke. Now, you can work everything from here, but I've been used to doing it all from here. So I'm gonna twirl this down, twirl this down, twirl this down, and now I can see my, um, I can see my stroke effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the color and I'm gonna change the color to like red. And now that my color is red, I'm gonna make it a little thicker. So brush size, let's make the brush size a little bigger. And now that my brush size is big, it looks pretty good. And there it is. Now if you wanna add a cool animation so that it outlines the property, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do, you're gonna set an endpoint. So let's say, I don't know, two seconds in, I want it to, yeah, I want it to end about two seconds in. So I'm gonna click on this little stopwatch for end, and that is going to set a keyframe for that end spot. And then I'm gonna drag the, the um, cursor backwards, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this 100% to zero. So, and it, when I do that, it's automatically gonna create another keyframe. So now if I hit my space bar, it totally lines up and makes my stroke show up. And then if I wanna adjust the speed, let's say it's it took it was too fast or too short, or if I wanna push it out a little bit, just click the play, just click the keyframe and you can play with it. So there's one, it starts later. So you see the footage, it's rotating and then it comes in. And maybe it took too long, I want it to go a little faster, just drag that keyframe a little closer, hit spacebar, and boom, it goes way faster. So there we go. And then I'm happy with that for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the other layer so I can see the other layer. And now when you play it, you can see now it has two layers. And that's how I do motion tracking using Mocha. Thanks guys for watching the video. Remember, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'd love to do more videos.